Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of our work order management template. This is one of over 100 pre-built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description and try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template, some definitions of the key terms used in this template. Over here, we have a customization difficulty, an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, and some instructions on how you can utilize this template. And at the bottom, we have a short guide on using our templates with compatible online services. This template helps you record and streamline service requests and transactions to help you improve your current processes. We start in the coordination database sheet. Input the contact members, contact methods, and the customer details such as name, ID, phone number, and email. Input the service category, service lead times, provider companies, phone numbers, and emails here. Input in the next table the parameters for the visualizations of the service time efficiency and service quality rating to be used in the next sheet. In the services coordinator sheet, it's here where we log all our customer requests and transactions. Just note to only input data in the white cells. Enter the service order date service order number, contact member, contact method, customer name, service needed, current status, actual end date, and the service quality rating at the end of the table. In the top portion, you have highlighted metrics such as the number of service orders, total customers, total service providers, the average service time efficiency rating, and the average service quality rating. We have some charts to show you the service order statuses for your different customers, the status distribution, and the service and efficiency performance per service. We have here some slicers to help you filter out your data by service status, contact method, service, service provider, customer, and date range. We have a refresh macro button to update your charts in case new data is added and a full screen macro button to hide your ribbons. Lastly, in the service order management sheet, we have a pivot chart that helps you visualize your service backlogs in days over time, as well as a status pipeline analysis chart and a service order volume chart. You can use the many slicers here to better represent your data. You can filter by customer, service needed, current status, and the service order number. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.